video. Today we are talking about why it's important to squeeze. Why it's important to have a tight body when doing gymnastics and tumbling. So without further ado, let's go and get into it. The first reason on why it's important to stay tight and to squeeze is because it prevents injury. A lot of kids really do think that in order to do cartwheels or handstands or any difficult type of skill, you have to throw your body into that, which is completely wrong. And with kids doing that, because they're not squeezing, their bodies are falling pretty hard on the ground, so it can cause injury. When athletes are learning to squeeze and to be tight, it helps prevent injury because they're not falling everywhere and they're not throwing their bodies into certain skills. So that is really reason number one why it's so important to squeeze and be tight. Another important rule which kind of piggybacks off of the first one is you fall safely. It's tumbling, it's gymnastics, it's cheerleading, you're going to fall. That's just, that's the sport, you know, it's going to happen. However, you want it to happen safely. All right, you don't want the kids to fall and it completely freaks them out and then they're scared to do certain skills um, because falling is part of the sport. When you're squeezing and when you're being tight, the falls will hurt way less. It'll be more of a fall like, okay, I fell, I'm okay, let me get back up, let me try it again, let me fix what I didn't do. So you're learning to fall safely. Also, when an athlete is learning to squeeze and build tight, it helps build confidence because you're no longer falling everywhere anymore. You're now probably landing on your feet or landing on your feet then falling to your knees. So it's building that confidence up of the kids realizing, hey, I used to fall in this skill. Now I may not be landing it perfectly, but now I'm landing on my feet. Okay, now I'm landing on my feet to my knees. Now I'm no longer putting my knees down. I'm landing on my feet. Now I'm picking my chest up. I did the skill. So it's helping athletes build that confidence because of course when you're falling you don't have confidence at all it builds fear so and that's not that is exactly not what we want so when an athlete can learn to squeeze their body and be tight they'll be able to learn more skills which will also help them progress to harder skills and it just builds that confidence up in them because now they're no longer scared to do the skill if anything they're proud and they want to show it off another big thing about squeezing and being tight is you are able to control your body you're able to control your body like you are able to control your body i cannot say that enough being tight and squeezing even if you're being spotted on a skill or if you are spotting a skill and the child is being tight and they're squeezing you can control that when a child is doing a handstand and they kick up and their legs are just flailing like this me as a spotter i'm like whoa i don't want to get hit in the face you're not squeezing your legs together it's scary for me i'm not gonna lie to you it is super scary and i mean i'm pretty honest with my kid athletes i'm very honest with them and i tell them that like hey your feet were out here it went past my face like it makes me scared to spot you you know like keep your legs together because if you hit me and knock me out who's gonna help you up and then they really think about it and it's like oh, okay so Controlling their bodies when they're able to squeeze and be tight They are able to control their bodies and land safer fall safer and do better skills and build that confidence um, It also teaches them to kick up squeeze Hold and then come down. So when an athlete can control their body It's just great for both athlete and spotter <laughs> so yeah, these are some reasons on why it's super important to squeeze and be tight. If an athlete can't do that, then a lot of the other skills, such as fall to bridge, back walkover, backhand spring, it's going to be super hard for the athlete to learn um, because they're not squeezing. And it, that those harder skills can seriously cause some bad injuries. So I always make sure my athletes know how to squeeze and learn how to be tight before we move on to more intermediate advanced skills. So yeah, I'll be doing a video on what squeezing and being tight means, so stay tuned. So with that being said, you're to do, like, share, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you in my next video.